This is our Forex blog for July 15th, 2014. And these are our currency indexes, which let you see what each individual currency is doing by itself. Uh, all the dollar pairs, euro pairs, pound pairs, yen pairs. And you can easily see the trend, whether it's above or below. It's hourly moving average in gray, 15 minute moving average in green, uh, the daily point of control, which is the price most actively traded during the previous day. It tends to be a support area like this. You can see it going up. Um, you know, underneath these, you know, areas that you could call filters, uh, the market's likely to go down, and above it, it's likely to go up. And, and what you want to do is just simply buy the strong currencies versus the weak. You can see starting the day off, the euro is strong and the dollar is strong. Uh, the yen uh, is weak at that point. It's underneath its hourly, kind of going sideways. But, you know, you would be looking to uh, buy the euro yen earlier in the day. So if you bring up a euro yen chart, especially to like three or four, you're looking to buy pullbacks. You know, um, again, this trade here, a small win, small win. You might have got in somewhere down here and made uh, 10 or 15 pips. And again, after three, you can see from the chart, and this is not the perfect example because the euro is kind of just slowly grinding up, and the yen's kind of going up too, but it's underneath its hourly. And it was, it's around 130 where it goes from underneath to above its hourly. Uh, a better example would be to find uh, one that's clearly weak, like the New Zealand. The euro New Zealand is likely to go up uh, towards the earlier part of the day. Want to focus on buying this, and as you can see, it goes up. Most people are mostly interested in our forex signals, so I'll just showcase how those did today. There is now, uh, I think, 452 patterns that are in here. Um, starting yesterday, you can see a nice win, small win, small loss, break even, small win, big win, big win, uh, 15 pip win. Oops, there's no trade there. Uh, very small loss and uh, pretty much a break even. So most of the trades are working and the losses are much smaller than the wins. Here's the pound today. Uh, and it was just kind of chopping around at first. There's no clear direction. Uh, our systems are designed to minimize the risk. So you have a small win here, or break even pretty much, maybe three pip loss, small win, small win. Pretty much break even. Uh, nice 20 pip win. Uh, pretty much 4 pip loss. Win. Big win. Very tiny loss uh, in there. And our patterns are doing so well that I'm spending more and more time doing uh, and working on the other uh, currencies. You can see uh, the dollar CAD here pretty much break even. Nice win, pretty much break even, and we're still in this trade right here, and, and it's locked in a, a small profit already. There's the dollar Swiss. It did pretty well today. Uh, I don't always show all these currencies, but uh, you can see uh, a breakout trade right here. Very small win, pretty much break even, small lot, or you know. Pretty decent sized loss. That's actually yesterday. Uh, here's a uh, break even, 10 pip win, 12 pip win, and then caught and held on to this, you know, nice uh, 20, 25 pip win, and then went short and pretty much broke even on that trade. And the key to trading is small losses, bigger wins. You really shouldn't worry too much. Um, you're never going to catch every pip. In some trades, you know, you're going to have losing trades, but as long as you're, you have more wins than losses, or your wins are bigger than losses, as you can see, big win here, big win here, uh, very tiny loss, very tiny loss, uh, pretty much break even. So two big wins, a break even, and super two super tiny losses, uh, and that's really the key to trading. And I'm not a, a really huge fan of break uh, breakout trades, so. Uh, you will not at this point see too many uh, breakouts like uh, this one right here. I might put some in the future once we uh, are we're in the process now of redoing our tick data 
uh, there's some tools that will give me added uh, statistical confirmation that the euro is strong and the yen's weak and it's okay and it's relatively safe to take this kind of trade but I don't really like to buy a currency after it's already gone up 20 30 pips I'm more apt to find something that uh, is very strong and makes a little bit of a pullback and I want to buy that pullback with a very tight stop and usually trends resume or oftentimes they do and you know oftentimes they go back up to the high and sometimes they go up to the fib target up here so you have many trades that make this or this while risking this and breakout trades you, you know uh, you really sometimes they break down it comes back in the range and then it goes higher later if you take a breakout trade you really should put your stop underneath you know maybe the last swing low so that's a much uh, higher risk to avoid the noise of getting you stopped out that's 15 20 pips we never have 15 20 pips with our system as you can see right here that's uh, pretty much one of the bigger bigger losses you know five to eight pips so let me just showcase if you don't want to use our forex signals which I suggest everyone does they're very sophisticated no one's one of the reasons I stopped doing classes every day which I did for almost six years is because I had to dumb down our systems and people still thought they were too complicated uh, some of our rules uh, for some of our patterns again we have over 450 of them some of them have 25 to 35 different rules and people aren't going to be able to learn that and watch you know 10 or 15 different indicators um, and you know let alone watch you know five or six different charts if you put a few indicators on each chart then it would be manageable but if you want to watch 12 currencies you can't do that but a computer can easily watch you know 70 or 80 different variations of indicators and keep track of them all so again using your currency indexes it's pretty easy to trade you just want to find a currency that's strong and buy it versus one that's weak here you can see the pound kind of was going sideways for many uh, hours pretty much for a day and a half maybe and broke out and our upper containment band is pretty much the earliest or highest point you can buy to get into this trade but at that point in time let's link all these to, uh, together at that point in time when that broke out if you're watching this you can see this was in a downtrend and went sideways for well over 12 hours broke out due to news obviously and you want to trade this against the currency that's maybe the weakest and you can see the euro is pretty weak right here if you bring up the euro pound it's going to go down and you know right at that point if you're watching and trading it you want to sell this you know uh, it falls down you're never going to get the perfect entry but you might have got into it right here and you know you might have uh, when it goes sideways here got out of that trade with a pretty decent profit and then you can see it's got a nice little wedge pattern right here and again the key to trading is small losses bigger wins if you sold that little wedge pattern two hours after that big move happened the euro was weak the pound was strong and it didn't get any bounce off that big drop so there's no buyers and you go short you risk this amount you make this amount and that's really the key to trading and you also have the advantage of drawing your fibs off of this and you have your fib target ahead of time here's the 1.27 uh, which is what it kind of stopped at you might have kind of held on a little bit longer but once after multiple hours it didn't go lower you know you most likely would have got out of that trade but uh, the FIB targets are extremely good at giving you um, uh, good profits if you notice uh, I'll just showcase this I don't do classes anymore but uh, notice where it went to pretty much within a pip or two to the 1.618 FIB target and, and I'm a big user of this. I use it in our um, trading signals. Uh, and most of, or I would say, a very high percentage of our counter trend trading systems are based on these FIB targets. The bigger the move, if this went down 60 or 65 pips, I might start looking for counter trend trades at the 1.27 FIB target, uh, else, usually 1.38 to 1.618 if it's a smaller move. Uh, I oftentimes look and use the 2.0 uh, target. That's this is just a quick uh, example of how to use our tools, and again, focus on small losses, bigger wins, and you should you know do very well trading.